Hey, Dr. Steve Chi here, integrative East-West physician and somatic IFS therapist. This is going to be a mailbag video where I answer questions uh, that you have sent me. Uh, this one um, is from Simon. Would you please answer rather broadly a question, which is to which extent is it possible to regulate how we deal with emotions through the body? And I live in the belief that proper techniques can indeed shift how our mind body operates, but at the same time, I have to admit I have back pain and definitely suppress some emotions. I follow Qigong and martial art techniques, and I see over the course of time, broad change, not only in my body, um, it sounds like it's been effective to do some of that, but is also wondering um, how far can that go? I love this question. It's a very, very, uh, very, very, um, very powerful question. You know, this extent to which we can regulate so our emotions through the body, I would actually argue that our emotions were intended to be quote unquote. And I don't know if I'd even use the word regulate. I mean, I get it. There is a regulating impact and I'm not saying the regulation is important because see our capacity to feel our emotions is part of really what makes us human. And they can become, you know, over time as we learn how to be with them, um, can really form this, they, f the smallest level of connection can come from just feeling we're, we're, like we're disappointed with something, you know, all the way up to, you know, to me, when we look at profound states of oneness, of harmony, of love, of bliss, of joy, I mean, these are all states that are, there is, I don't even know how much of it I would call quote unquote emotion versus quote unquote spiritual energy, quote unquote, whatever it is. And I don't know if it even really matters ultimately, because what matters most is the connection. I really do believe that, you know, emotions are ideally, um, are, are ways to, uh, for us to connect with ourselves and with others. And part of the journey that many of us are on is learning learning that, learning the language that our body is communicating emotions. Because you're mentioning this um, uh, notion about uh, suppressing emotions and having back pain. And that's so often the case. We may have grown up, I'm not, I don't know your situation, just speaking in general. You know, We may have grown up in situations where it wasn't really modeled how to be with our emotions, um, they may not have been encouraged, especially especially negative emotions are the hardest for people to learn how to be with. And this is why it can be very helpful to work, you know, individually with, you know, a therapist or someone trained in 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 the healing arts in that way, because you know it can take time to really start to learn how to slow down and start to turn towards uh, feelings and allow them to start to create space. Because when we start to do that, there can be other parts of us that react to that, that might be afraid of it, afraid of being overwhelmed by them, afraid of what it might mean, afraid of facing things that we might either feel guilt or shame around as a result of things that may have happened to us, or maybe even choices that we may have made ourselves. But to me, all of that becomes the foundation for deepening our relationship with ourself that can be much more filled with the heart. And when we do that, the body, our relationship with our body becomes one in which the emotions are the vehicle for deeper connection with ourself and with everything. There's this really beautiful poem by a uh, roommate. It's called The Guest House. This being human is a guest house. Every morning, a new arrival, a joy, a depression, a meanness, some momentary awareness comes as an unexpected visitor. Welcome and entertain them all, even if there are a crowd of sorrows who violently sweep your house empty of its furniture. Still, treat each guest honorably. He may be reaching, he may be clearing you out for some new delight. The dark thought the shame, the malice. Meet them at the door laughing and invite them in. Be grateful for whoever comes because each has been sent as a guide from beyond. 
And to me, what I love about this is it speaks to really the transcendent nature of emotions potentially. And I'd want to add one last thing with this poem. You know, and it says, meet them at the door laughing. This to me is kind of like you're seeing like an old friend, the, it, like from childhood. Like there's that kind of, I meet them at the door laughing. This is not, I'm laughing at it. This is that kind of, oh my God, we have been through so much together. Like, ah, oh, do you have this like laughter of, can, it's actually a very, very, very connecting thing. I just say that because emotions really want to be welcomed when we can do that they can transform and be heard and be seen. So I hope you found this to be helpful. If you have a question, please feel free to leave it here or send me an email through if you uh, subscribe to my list.